What is up and welcome back. It is finally time. We're going to be starting to design some aero for Project Daily, the 04 STI. So a while ago we put on the front lip for the STI bumper. We had a little bit of difficulty doing that, but it wasn't too hard. Anyways, now it's time to design the splitter itself. I have a big piece of cardboard that we'll be making the template from, and essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bumper, put it on the cardboard, and then trace it out, and then that's how we'll know the template. Most people will just do like a little lip just to make it kind of look aggressive, but I'm here making fully functional arrow for the track. And that is because eventually Project Daily is gonna be a track slash daily driver. So in order to make it a track car, we have to make some functional arrow, not aesthetic arrow. And that means making it pretty much, what I'm thinking right now is a front splitter is gonna go from out past the bumper and go probably to right here. And eventually what we'll be doing is we'll be doing side splitters and a rear diffuser all to top it off out of ABS plastic and not sure exactly what we're gonna do there. Anyways, let's get to start making the template. I'm gonna show you exactly how I will create the template because essentially what you want is your um, front splitter to kind of be a mirror or uh, um, very close to what the front lip or whatever your bumper may be. And the reason we put that front lip on before we started designing the um, front splitter is because if you look right here, we have this gap. And that gap's gonna make the front splitter pretty useless if you just put a splitter because the air is just gonna flow right through and it's not gonna be that functional. So this essentially stops the air from doing that and makes the splitter actually work. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making probably about that big of a splitter and then it's gonna kind of taper off near the ends. I think we'll see how that looks. If I don't like the look, we can always make a bigger one if we want. So now we're ready to make the front template of the splitter. So what I did is essentially kind of decided on a size I wanted to. I was thinking around three inches, so what I did is I cut a four inch piece of wood, and then I drew a little hole in it, just big enough for a Sharpie to fit through. And then once I have the Sharpie stuck in like this, what I can do is I can actually run it along the front of the lip and trace out the exact mirror of the lip three inches. And you're saying, why don't you just use um, without a block of wood and just a Sharpie? Because once you start getting to the edges, your curves actually be a little bit bigger. So if you do just trace it, you'll be able to bring it to the um, front and create a splitter, but you won't be able to create the um, splitter on the sides because your arc is actually just a little bit bigger when you're using the block of wood. So let's get to this first template. The bumper is slightly bigger than I thought, so I had to get a different piece of cardboard but now we're finally ready to go. So there we go, we got our basic line right there. I also traced it right to the back, even though we're not gonna do this all the way across. What I'm thinking is it's gonna continue on curving and then slowly just bend and blend to probably about half an inch or an inch out from the bumper because that's as far as we're gonna have the side splitters. We don't want giant three inch side splitters. Also, I'm noticing now, look how much room is under this. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just hack off the bottom of this lip because it isn't the best fitting lip, I have to say that. So might as well mess it up because it's not really worth too much to me if it doesn't fit right. And there's what three inches look like off the lip itself. The point of that lip is to um, create a nice seal against the splitter. And with that little like lip on the bottom, it's no point. So what I'm gonna do, tape it off, and then we're just gonna hack it off because we might as well. And that's the whole point of this front lip. So as you can see, it's like raised right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right along this edge right here so it's nice and smooth and then it makes a good contact. To continue with the theme of nothing ever going right working on cars, the tape actually doesn't stick to the lip at all. So I guess I'm just gonna go freehanded and see what I can do with the little tool. So 
That took a lot longer than I was expecting. But there we go, the lip fits much better on the cardboard. As you can see, it's nice and level now. If we go in closer, and I'll zoom in, it's much more flush, letting it actually do the job right. So next, we're gonna cut out this. We're just gonna trace along these lines here, just the front part, and then we'll figure out how we wanna connect it to the back. Now comes the kind of freehanding design. So what I'm thinking is right at these corners, right here where the kind of this top crease goes straight down, it's gonna start to go inward. So kind of similar to like that. Actually, I don't like that. Never mind. Hmm. So what I wanted to do, because you see this guy follows this line. So we wanted to essentially follow that line too. So if we go in like that, there we go. So if we go in off this point, I'm just gonna tr quickly trace it out and then I'll show you guys. And if I like it, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, put it in permanent marker, cut it out, and then we're gonna cut or fold this guy in half. And once we fold this in half, then we can get an exact mirror image on the other side. So there's our final line. It's kinda hard to see in the shadows, but essentially what happens is it goes in it follows this top canard kind of style thing. It follows that curve and just goes right to the back of the um, lip itself. And it is exactly one inch away from the side of the lip, so it should blend well with the, we're gonna do one inch um, wide side splitters. It's actually gonna be five inches wide, the side splitter itself. I'll probably actually make a little bit of under tray too, but it's gonna be one inch past the stock side skirt. So there we have one inch here and it should all just kind of blend together. So now I'm gonna cut this out and then mirror it on the other side. So there's the lip so far. There's the one completed side. I love the way the way it curves. It works perfectly. And then we're just working our way around. I kind of messed up here a little bit, but I'll be able to smoothen it out when we trace it onto our ABS plastic. And then I just cut off here so I can now, what I'm gonna do is put the bumper back on that blanket and fold it in half, and then we're gonna be able to mirror that side to this side. So it got really windy, like stormy windy, but anyways, we're still working on the lip itself. So I got the other side all traced out, so now we got two perfect arches. I just did some quick measurements off the sides, about um, 12 inches off the side and up. We have the same measurement there and there, so we know it is a perfect mirror and my system did work. So now the last thing is to cut right across the bottom because this isn't perfect. As you can see, the bumper was off to the side, so the line actually isn't a perfect measurement. This isn't actually gonna be the full splitter. We're gonna do another video where I do the under tray. We're gonna do a complete under tray. As I said, it was pretty much to um, right here, so pretty much the whole front end is going to have a nice um, ABS under tray. But the splitter was the main thing getting done today. Also, I didn't expect grinding that um, lip down to, actually I didn't expect to grind it down at all, but I didn't expect it to be as long either. Anyways, so we're going to cut this now and then this is going to be the splitter portion. But this will connect to the um, under tray. The under tray is going to be one giant piece. The only reason I'm doing it this way in multiple pieces of cardboard because I don't have this giant piece of cardboard that I can measure up in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably just fake mount this and fake mount the bumper and then we're just going to um, go lift the car up and take another piece of cardboard and trace the under tray and then we're going to tape them together and then when we put them on our ABS plastic we'll have one giant sheet of ABS and we'll just cut it out from there. Completed lip. Now, so there we go, the splitter is all done. I'm pretty sure I just said lip in that previous statement and probably a lot more, but there we go. The splitter is all done. It's a fairly large piece of plastic, or will be a piece of plastic. I'll put the bumper on it so you guys can check it out. But that is the completed stencil for the front lip. And just like that, we have our front splitter mocked up. Check that out. So eventually we're gonna put some splitter rods from here to here. And so this is three inches. You could definitely go a lot bigger if you're especially getting into time attack. But just because this has to be also daily drivable, I went with three inch. Also, this probably will, um, we'll see how we're gonna mount this. But as far as I am concerned, it's gonna be mounted on the chassis and not on the bumper. 
and the splitter rods are actually going to go through here, up through here, and they're not going to mount on the bumper themselves, but they're going to mount on that crash bar that we did. We're just going to put the um, arms through there. And then this is on the chassis, so it won't have anything to do with the bumper besides the bumper just sitting on it. So there we go. We finally have the front splitter all mocked up for Project Daily. I can't wait till finally getting to test it. I don't know if we'll get to test it this year because there's only one more autocross and I think it's actually this weekend, like in one day. So I'm probably not gonna be able to make that and test it in one day. But next year we're definitely gonna be doing some um, trial runs, me and Adrian especially, are gonna be m testing to see um, how our DIY grassroots arrow kit compares to just having no arrow at all. Um, and that will be probably done just through autocross, taking them on and off and comparing it. Anyways, that is going to be it for today. Hopefully soon we'll be finishing up this. We'll be making the underbody for the front end and cutting it out of ABS plastic. But until next time, peace out and stay humble. Oh,